if you're going portable, something like a extendable squid pole and half wavelength of wire as an antenna, plus an antenna coupler, is a great choice for QRP operating. Problem is though, is that if you're flying, then something like this squid pole is too long to take on as hand luggage. And you might want something a bit lighter anyway. A magnetic loop like this is also beyond practical, especially if it's this size, solid metal, and doesn't collapse. Today I'll describe an unusual magnetic loop made out of kitchen aluminium foil. Another item commonly available I'm using is this little kid's floating thing. This one is 76 centimetres in diameter, though I have seen others up to 90 centimetres in diameter. The idea is we'll blow this up and wrap foil around it to make a giant fat magnetic loop. Now, although it's only thin aluminium foil, people say that fat loops are quite efficient, so you may still be able to make contacts. The great thing about this is you'll be able to take this in your luggage, you can buy the foil at your destination at a supermarket, and then in your hotel room, you can assemble this loop and be on the air. Next step is to wrap it with foil. It needs to be almost all the way around with a small gap near the top. That's where we'll put in the variable capacitor that will help tune the loop. Um, I think this will be quite difficult. But bearing in mind this will be a loop only used for a short time, maybe only a few days or weeks, so it doesn't have to be particularly robust or last very long. Yeah. The hard bit is the curvature. Um, I'm not going to make this very tight. Now, the thing about this is that the middle is big enough for me to pass the, um, the roll through. Let's see if I can unwrap it. And loosen it out. Got a bit of a gap here, it's about seven or eight centimeters. I think it should probably be smaller. 
I just cut it a little bit too small. Uh, we'll just go from one side to the other. Here's other bits of the antenna. Now, the way that this looks, I don't know if you'd be able to get this through the security at the airport, so you might want to make it look a bit prettier. But this is the capacitor at the top of the loop. I'm using a chopping board. I'm going to use some Velcro straps just to suspend the inflatable loop from the bottom of this. And I'll just put this on a nail on a fence just to test it it's a two gang variable capacitor though you don't have to use a two gang the benefit of the two gang is that I've got the gang sections in series that halves the capacitance but it means less loss and again this is an option I've got a trimmer capacitor across it only goes up to about 25 picofarad but that provides some finer adjustment which could be useful for a loop where the adjustment is normally very fine especially as I'm not using a reduction drive on the main capacitor so I'll do the main adjustment on here and then the fine adjustment just by adjusting this beehive trimmer and the multiple turns means that it provides a finer tuning without a reduction drive. Now these are the two wires that go down and make contact with the foil loop. Really it should be thicker than this. I'd suggest coaxial cable braid, maybe from RG58 or even better RG213. Because the thicker and shorter this wire is the less loss. Just having a look at the diagram, here's what you just saw in a schematic form. Oh, it's upside down. Here we are. The two variable capacitors in series. I'm not connecting the frame of the capacitor to anything, although if you want to get a lower frequency or a lower frequency band with this loop, and you don't have enough capacitance then you can just short one of these and that will give you more capacitance and maybe allow you to tune a band lower and here's the trimmer capacitor the fine tuning and this is just connected to the aluminium foil at the top of the loop and down here is the loop where the feed line is connected that's just 50 ohm coax connected to the bottom. The polarity doesn't matter, and I'll just show you that. Um, here, I'm just using a connector to banana sockets uh, with binding posts, BNC, and I'm using the inside of mains extension cord. And the diameter of this is about one-fifth that of the main loop. You might need to adjust the shape to get the VSWR down to its lowest level. This is about one and a half metres tall. I've got a nail in the fence so we'll just Put this here and we'll have the loop down below it.
Next stage is I'll tape the wire from the variable capacitor, there's two of them, to the foil right near the end, or at least as near as possible. Here's the inner loop attached to the coax going to the transceiver. With the capacitor nearly fully meshed, I can get resonance at 14 megahertz. But I'm not getting much resonance at 28 megahertz. There is however a peak at 21 megahertz and you can even hear some FT8. But overall I'm not very happy with it. I think it should be a lot sharper. I think there's other things I could do with the loop that could make it workable. I did try transmitting on 14 megahertz and wasn't able to get the SWR down very much at all. It was still way too high. And with these sorts of loops, you should expect it to be very close to one-to-one, -one, very sharp uh, null. But I'm not doing that. So, yeah, I think it's got potential, but this one isn't going to be working for me. Other things I could do is maybe if I had more foil and was able to make this a full and proper ring rather than just rely on the outside, maybe that's going to be better. Um, maybe I could experiment more with the shape, size, orientation or position of the loop that is coupling the RF from the transceiver. Maybe even another method of feeding it, like a, a gamma match type of arrangement. So, yeah, as you can hear, it's working as a receive antenna, but I'm not particularly happy as a transmit antenna. If you think something like this has potential, then let me know in the comments. Better still, build one yourself. Maybe spend a bit more time than I have. And let's see if you can make some contacts with something like this. Please let me know how you go in the comments below.